Hello guys, my name is Armin. In today's episode, I want to introduce you to guides or guidelines in SketchUp. This is a very underrated tool. I've never seen anybody use it on a regular basis, uh, but it brings a lot of value when you're dealing with a lot of complex objects. Um, today's episode, I want to show you how to apply it, where you can find it, with what tool you can activate the guidelines. Also, I want to show you how to group them, hide them, unhide them, or basically delete all of it. So this is going to be a tool that you can use when you are drawing and you can have it or you can hide it, unhide it, or delete the whole thing from your project. So let's take a look at SketchUp, see how we can leverage these great tools that we have. So we want to use the guides. So you can use the guides by using the tape measure or proctor. So you can find them on the large tool set or you can go to the tool. You'll be able to see the tape measure or you can push T. Also, you can do the protractor to basically use it the main thing is you can see the plus sign next to it that's going to be um, turned on and off by control so if i hit the control plus sign appears i can have the guides but if you, i don't want to have the guides just want to use the tape measure i'll just gonna basically not using it just turn it off it's going to be just a tape measure you can use um, you can use inferencing also, you can kind of add some, you know, measurements and you can get everything. So this is a great tool for tracing items without affecting your object. You can do it on surface. You can do it even not on the surface, on the, uh, basically on the space. So you, if you want to create something out of your object and see how it's going to look like and you're afraid to kind of draw lines that is not in plane, you can use guides. It's very, very helpful and it basically is going to give you the outline for your complex objects that you want to draw. You can do it on a, any surface as long as you have the edge. You start from the edge to the center or to the corners. You can do the inferencing or you can kind of add some dimension on it and basically add um, right now i'm just gonna you know show you you can use a practor it's gonna do the same thing you want to basically turn it on enough uh, with the control if you want to do it you can do it on a different surface on a y axis x axis or on um, z so it depends on how you want to use it how you want to uh, use all of these guides but the main thing that I want you to be aware of that this is going to be a great tool to trace your complex object without affecting your geometry um, in even if you have any open uh, object like this if you want to you find a center if you want to basically go from the different side and not close the top and not close the whole object guide um, guides are your friend so it's not going to close the top for you, but you can basically go from the object to the outside to the inside. You can see how it's going to look like um, for creating your object without closing the top. The main thing that is really, really important is you can group these. So basically, if you have, like, say, I have three shapes here. So I have some guides for shape one, some for shape two, some for shape three. So I can basically group they'll just select them same way that you basically doing it for grouping object you can select all of those guides whatever for the shape is and then just group them sketchup creates a, a box for grouping i don't know like uh, how it's gonna create this but as you can see it's basically create a, a box that goes all the way to these infinite lines and i can kind of place them on one of them so this is the shape two let me just turn on and off shape one which is basically this shape that i have and it's not going to affect the object we didn't group the object we didn't change anything in the geometry basically we only group the guides for that object so you can draw them and you can group them if you want to draw something else on your geometry and try something you can kind of turn them back on and try so i'm gonna let's say put this one on um, on shape two and i'll just put these three dots two dots and like a two lines on the, the third shape on a different group and you guys notice is that i didn't group the object i didn't 
touch any of the geometry i basically just select the guides the infinite lines and then group him um as a, like a different uh, basically grouped object for each shape so you can turn on and off all of them bring them back so when you basically do all of that you can uh, basically draw something so if i have let's say those corners and i want to connect to a specific dimension you see how it's going to be easy for me from the top to trace those lines and kind of connect to the corner when i'm on the same plane and this is really important when you're drawing the very complex objects to know exactly where to connect how to connect to one corner and when you draw line without kind of missing stuff when you draw a lot at the end you feel like you're missing a corner or the loop is not closed or your surface is not created but this is a great tool to draw everything in dimension very precise because you're giving dimension to everything and you'll be able to kind of create the object that you have and you can kind of use it in the middle of stuff in the corners uh, give it a different shape even you can draw it outside of the object without uh, missing your actual surface creation so you're going to be exactly where you're supposed to be with this precise dimension and you can be on this plane to close the loop. So um, the one note I want to mention is you can also create points. So you can basically use circle, um, select the outline and then find center. You can get rid of it. It's going to give you a point. You can do the same thing with the polygon. So this is going to do the same thing for you. Basically, you can select the line um, and then find center. It's going to find the center for you. So basically, any object in SketchUp that you can find center for it, you'll be able to get the points. Um, so right here, I can use uh, basically the arc. Same process. Getting the outline, uh, find center is going to give me the... Uh, basically just a center point and right now i have a point as a guide i've never used it but um i thought it might be something that you guys need specifically like this object that i have it's a polygon uh in the center so i can get it real quick and then kind of connect to the side but if you use like rectangulars because i tried the rectangular shape welded the sides but I couldn't find uh, the center because it doesn't have the command to find a center for rectangle. But for polygon, circle, arc, you can do it. You can also turn on and off. So if you don't want to put it on the layer and group them, you can basically hide and unhide guidelines. So the guides can be hide and unhide. And also you can delete them. Um, you can delete the whole thing. But I would recommend create um, a group and put them on the group so you can turn them on and off and it's going to be really easy for you to kind of use them uh, for all the creation that you have so you can see i can hide them and if i want i can bring them back on and kind of use them as a support line to draw my objects thank you guys for watching today's episode i am hoping that i was able to add a few tips and tricks to your toolbox if you like the content please subscribe and leave a like and I will see you in the next video.